guys okay so in this video i am not actually reviewing the samsung brick which i did in a previous video i'm actually reviewing this guy somebody you should know probably this guy hopefully this is a chromecast and uh, we did do a little test on the tv but i wanted to be as accurate as possible with how many how much watts of power this thing uh, actually uses this device uses um in this case this device um it's already set up it's supposed to be able to connect to the wi-fi etc which i normally use and um so um it should be pulling the the, the wattage the correct wattage on, on when it's in 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 fair use at least logged in and um showing something on the screen um so without further ado let's let's have a look at this where we plug it in so i'm gonna plug this in without hopefully hitting the gimbal and uh oh yep i did i did hit the gimbal So here goes, it's on watts, and it's powered up. You can see the light is on, and we see 1.2, 1.3, nice, 1.5, 6 watts, 7 watts, it's gradually climbing, 1.9, it went maximum 1.9, um, and yeah, look, it, it's already turned to white, which means it should be near to boot. Um, now I think it's boot there with the 2.0. Uh, of course, this is a Wi-Fi device as well, so it's always going to be on. And we could clearly see that it uses some power. We see that it uses about, uh, it's blinking. Um, it uses less than 2 watts of power. So this is excellent. Um, considering everything, 1.5 to 2 watts of power, I mean, you can't go wrong for that in, in terms of it. It's surprisingly for a small device, it does actually use more <laughs> power than I expected. But, but, but still, definitely nothing to be worried about especially when it's only when your tv is on um for those of you who have tvs where the usb stays on while the tv is off well that's going to be used uh, using two watts of um power per i guess that's per second or whatever is the case um so uh it, it could come up to some pennies um maybe a dollar or a few dollars um i would probably do a, a one day a calculation on that just to make sure that i am absolutely accurate but in the grand scheme of things, it's it's not going to be anything too major. Um, it uses about the same amount of power as the Google Home Mini, which I'm so surprised because Google Home Mini actually does output of speakers and so forth. All right, so guys, I don't want to keep this video for very long. Um, I hope that this actually helped some of you guys out there. And um, please consider liking this and subscribing to the channel. And um, of course, commenting. Let me know if um, if if you have seen similar results different results or if you want to see another device uh, as long as it has two pins or three pins plugged i can always check it out for you guys and get back to you guys so thank you so much for viewing and see you guys again soon bye bye